it's half. I am back with a much overdue uh, update of my 100 colourful empties. I've been doing this with uh, Lena and Hayley and a few other people. I'll leave them linked down below, of course, like I always do. I'm going to go through colour by colour, look at the stuff that I've either finished or I'm currently using. The stuff that I haven't touched, I'm not going to bother because I obviously haven't touched it. So we will start with red. The first one is the um, Natural Look Immaculate Bio Renew Night Cream. It's done. Um, I started using the Sensibo Mask. <coughs> um, I can't really see where it is. This is um, like you're supposed to use after cleansing. I think I've used it, yeah, only once, but it's only, I think the container's only like half full, so I haven't finished that, but I have started using it. Uh, then the Essie Snap Happy, which doesn't really look too much different, even though I know I've actually used it at least once, and... In case you don't know what Snap Happy looks like on the nail, that's it right there. Then we have OPI's Ally's Big Break, which is this one here. On there. Uh, it doesn't look any different, but again, I know I've used it at least once. Uh, the Nika K Red Lip Liner. Um, only doesn't really look too different. I think I've only used it like once or maybe twice. It's one of those ones that keeps on falling down in my collection and then I don't see it and it's like, ugh. And the other one is the Bite Beauty Lipstick in Pomegranate. This also actually doesn't look any different. I'm actually wearing some of it today. Um, but it's like... I seem to work around the sides or something, so the length stays exactly the same when you go to measure it. So yeah, can't yeah, look any different. And lastly, in the red, we have the Natio Tinted Lip Balm. Um, I have used this a few times. I put a mark on there. Is that? I don't know. This is this is such a confusing product. Um, but there's a line right there on it that I'll put at some point. Um, I've used it a few times. It's really, um, it's actually quite pigmented. It doesn't look like it is. It's actually, like, I mean, it looks in the tube like it is, but it does put a fair bit of colour on the lips. I do use it occasionally, but I've been concentrating on one of the other lip balms that's in this, so I haven't used it as much as I possibly could have. So that is the red category. In the yellow gold category, I used up the Ombra SPF 30 Facial Moisturizer. I've used up the two samples of Lacura Twin Phase uh, serum. I have started using, and in fact I've almost finished, I've probably only got a couple of uses left out of this, of the Lacura QV Royale Luminous Serum Concentrate. It's like there's just a little bit down the bottom there. It uh, gets stuck in the container though because it's got these little gold ball things in it and sometimes those balls are the same size as the hole then you get a backup and then you squeeze it too hard and it goes everywhere um, but yeah I've nearly finished this one it's one I'm currently using um, and then I'll move on to a couple of these others that are sitting there uh, the Nooks multi-purpose dry oil I have used this a couple of times but the um, mark keeps wearing off so I don't know how much it's changed probably not a whole lot. Then we have the Butt Naked um, Body Powder in Satsuma, which is one of my favourite smells. Um, I don't think I ever marked this. Um, my mum used this the other day to uh, 
put on a trail of ants. So that's where we're down to now. Probably not the best use for a um, talcum powder, um, like a scented one, but it worked. So there you go. We have Orly Glow Stick, which actually does not too much different, but it will after today because I've got to do a manicure using it, but I haven't really been using it because I've been focusing on other ones. The Nutramedics Nutra Rich uh, Beauty Balm, I used it, it was fine, nothing special. And the L'Oreal El Vive Extraordinary Oil, again, I used it. Nothing extraordinary. So that's it for the yellow category. In the orange category, I finished the Palmer's uh, Facial Cleansing Oil. And I also have the Facial Perfecting Oil. This I have not used. I keep forgetting to actually use it. Which is just so silly. Um... But yeah, I'm going to put it in with the stuff that I use in my bathroom because I tend to go through that a bit faster. So that one is done. The Palm Olive Oil Infusions Body Moisturizer in Citrus with Jojoba Oil. I would repurchase this in a full size if I didn't have so many other ones to get through. The Palmer's Moisturizing Day Cream with SPF. I didn't particularly like this more because of the smell, but it was fine. Um, Natio Sunflower, doesn't look too different, but I know I've used it a couple of times, um, that is that one there, and Rising Star, which is funny, it doesn't look any different, but I know I've used this several times, um, that is that one right there, it's probably because it's at the widest part of the bottle. The Kerastase Nectar Thermique, I used it, it was okay, it's, I mean, it's probably better than okay, but it's Kerastase and it's bloody expensive, so. Uh, the Nails Ink Top Coat, oh, I think I've had a little bit of movement on that one. The main reason we get any movement on that is because when I... Remember to draw lines on other bottles. I put this over the top of it to try and stop them from being wiped off. So, a little bit of progress on that one. Um, I finally finished, this is the big one that I finished, the Swartkoff Oil Nutriv Anti-Split Ends Mask. It is all gone. It smells really, really nice. Like, it smells delightful. I don't know that it really did a huge amount for my hair. Like, it was okay, but, um, yeah. I'll see now that I've finished, because I, I literally finished it the last time I washed my hair. So, I'll see after I'm not using it whether my hair is upset with me. And the original source blood orange shower gel is finished. So that is it for the orange category. In the green category, I have used everything except for um, a couple of little serum samples, like these ones, and the Clump Crusher Mascara, which I'm still kind of using. But of course, at the end of the year, I will be getting rid of that. But I have finished the Bliss Body Butter in Lemon and Sage. It was okay, but I don't really like the smell of sage. I used the Innisfree Green Tea Seed Serum. It was fine. Didn't notice anything amazing. Uh, I used the Macadamia Natural Hair Oil Treatment. Again, it was fine. It's a pretty small sample. Um, the Chlorine Shampoo and Conditioner did not like these at all. The shampoo I used, um, the last time I used it was the day before I went and got my hair done to strip out extra colour because that's literally what it does. It strips the colour out of your hair. The Seba Med Anti-Dry Wash. Use this on my body. Ew. That was 
was fine. It was just a body wash. Nothing amazing. Um, then we get to these three samples. These I got in a beauty box. They are from a brand called Zucan. I did not get to use either any one of these three. They, um, they've never been opened, but the inside of all of them was basically like dried up and turned to a weird gel type thing, or it literally looked like. It's literally unusable. There's like nothing in there. And I thought it was just one of them the first time I did it. Uh, all three of these were exactly the same. So I never got to try them because either whatever they put in there didn't... went bad or something, but they were all completely sealed until I opened them. So that was disappointing. Then we have these three samples. We have the Avon Nutrifex Night Cream. It was fine, and the two Domain de Cappuccini uh, green ones, which are the um, cream hydro mattifying gel. These are beautiful. I love these. They have that really expensive skincare smell to them, and they work really, really well. I like. I really like that brand. Just wish they weren't so expensive. And lastly, we have the nail polish from Revlon called Moss. This actually got turned into a Franken polish, so this is actually done. And that is it for the green category. In the blue category, we have the Clinique Turnaround Concentrate. Um, I was using this, but I'm actually going to get rid of it because it is quite old. Um, it's been open for ages. And it just, it's kind of starting to get like a weirdish smell to it. So I'm not going to risk my skin over using something, which I actually got dis heavily discounted anyway. So that one is done. I've used the Eslaw uh, Botanical Peeling Gel. Didn't think anything of that. Didn't think it was anything special. The Palmer's Cocoa Butter Moisturiser, again, didn't think it was anything special. I've used one of the Lacura Oxy Serums. I still have two more of those in this project. I finally finished the last of my Domaine de Cappuccini Hydro Cure um, Moisturiser for normal to dry skin. This was really good when I had like little dry patches coming up here. I love this stuff. So, um, yeah, I've used up all my samples. So. Um, then we have the Physio Gel Daily Moisturizer th Moisture Therapy. I've used up that one and I have now started using this one. We're probably, probably down about there in this one. So, it's getting some use now. Um, I finished up all the Angel Rain finally so that's another nail polish down and I have used the Elf Dark Navy but this bottle is so dark it's impossible to see anyway so but it is getting used so that is it for the blue category in the purple category I have used up the Innisfree Orchid Enriched Cream. It was fine. Um, as I told you guys earlier, I'm getting rid of these Jambray wraps. Because I'm not going to use them. Um, I finally finished up the last of these Domangi Cappuccini eye serum things. They're, they're like a day, a day and a night serum uh, um, cream. I like those. If, if it wasn't so expensive, I would totally buy. <laughs> uh, all the charged up I don't think I've actually used this so it doesn't look any different and Lincoln Park After Dark by OPI I don't think I've used that one either we'll see if they get any more use before the end of the year I finished up the um, NSI Nurture Oil which has a cuticle oil the LA Colors Bold Lash Vivid Mascara is done with, mainly because it dried up. Uh, 
the Jordana Quickliner in Wild Orchid broke off and vanished, um, so I don't know where that one is. <laughs> and the Maybelline Master Studio, Master Smoky Eye Studio, I am using, but it doesn't really look any uh, different. Jerk. No, it doesn't look any different. I have used it a couple of times, but that is the purple category. In the pink category, we have the LA Colors Bold Lash in Popping Pink. Again, that dried up, so that one is gone. I have been using the Eco Lips Eco Tints in Rose Quartz quite a bit. I didn't like it at first because it's kind of got shimmer to it, but it's also got mint in it. It's like really minty on your lips, and I wasn't sure I liked it. But I have kept on using it. Um, I wound it all the way up the other day, and there was so much still in there. And I've been using this solidly like two or three times a day. So uh, I don't know how long that one's going to take me. The satin lip liner in Rosewood is done. The other lip liner, which was the Kmart one. Oh, we have some progress on it. I forgot to mark it. Oops, that's not a slip. That's a slip. So that is where we are now. I actually used it today and had to sharpen it. So that one has moved a little, which is nice. Um, Opera Ballerina from L'Oreal doesn't look any different. It probably will get a bit more usage now that the Icing Sugar one from Maybelline is done. Um, L'Oreal Base Magic. Um, I use this fairly regularly, like when I remember to put makeup on. It's either this one or the professional sample I've got. It doesn't look like it's down any further, but it, it has to be because I've used it quite a bit. Um, it just doesn't want to it doesn't want to fold down further than that line. But I know I've been using it. The Pons Flawless White BB Cream. There's not a lot left in here, but I've been slowing down my usage on it because uh, I don't want to finish it. <laughs> I will finish it by the end of the year. But I've also been working on um, a different foundation, which I don't like anywhere near as much, so I tend to like mix them together to try to get something that I like. And the L'Oreal Elviv Anti... Um, hair fall spray. I use this every time I have a shower. I've actually noticed I seem to be losing less hair. So that's great. Um, unfortunately I can't tell you how much is left in here and it just, it seems to have heat still in it even though I use it a couple of times a week. So I don't know how long that one's going to take me but at least I know it is being used. So that is it for the pink category. In the black category we have the Harvey Prince Sincerely Perfume. I'm over halfway on this now, which is actually some kind of miracle for someone who never wears perfume, or rarely wears perfume. Like, I literally remember to put perfume on right before I film, or if I'm going out, I'll sometimes remember to use it. I used up the Biology Equilibrium Body Lotion number 304. It was fine. Um, still using the Fashionista Vanishing Cream. This is a lot like the Professional or the Base Magic. It's that same kind of uh, texture. If I can get the lid off. Um, it's kind of this weird kind of texture. But it's... Um, I quite like it. it. It works pretty well. I just... I'm trying to use so many different things, I forget to use it. Um, the LOL Black Eyeliner probably looks pretty much... Oh no, we've had a big jump on that. I obviously used it more often than I realised. Just broke my pen.
again I tried to put the lid of the um, eyeliner onto my pen. So that is where we are now. So you know, a little bit of progress has been made. And now that I don't have my um, Itini Swizzle Stick in Midnight Cowgirl, now that I've finished that, I probably get a bit more use out of it. Although it doesn't stay in my waterline properly, which is a bit of a pain. Um, and I have the same problem with the next one, which is the Lancôme Le Crayon Cole Noir, which uh, I think I've like sharpened it once. I don't use it very often. It's very creamy. I just did the pen thing again. It's a very, um, when I put it on my eyes, it comes across really creamy, but when I just, like, did that on my hand, it didn't feel creamy. It's, like, so weird. Um, so, that is where we are now. A little tiny bit of progress. Uh, the Revlon Customize Mascara. I've used this a few times. I I don't notice any difference whether I use one or two, which is really... Um, it still seems to be quite good. Um, I might be going back to using this a bit more because the one that I used today, which I think is a Rimmel one, it, instead of, like, before when I was using it, it was making my eyelashes, like, look really long. And now it's making them look kind of spindly and short. And the occasional, like, spider lash, it's, like, weird. I put it on today, I was really unhappy. So, yeah. Uh, the Ambience Dry Shampoo. I think you can... There's, like, a little... I've used this a few times. Like, I used it a few times after I got my rainbow hair done. So I was trying not to wash my hair so much, and you can see it's it's faded quite a bit in some places, which is fine because I expected it to, but now I've got to decide what I'm going to do next. Um, and I suggested to one of my boys who has really oily hair to actually try using this. Um, I don't know if that'll get finished by the end of the year. I used the Revlon Photo Ready Primer. Didn't think anything of it at all. Um, and the um, Avon Ultimate A New Elixir sample used that. Again, didn't really think anything of it. And then we have the three black nail polishes. Um, So, Blackout has had a little bit of progress. Uh, liquid Vinyl still looks exactly the same. And Black Swan is basically almost done. I might use it in a... There's like almost nothing left. Um, that'll definitely be gone by the next summer update. Definitely be gone by the end of the year. Might even be gone in the next day. <laughs> so that is it for the black category. In the grey silver category, I have finished up the Clarice Sea Salt Solutions Rapid Detox Charcoal Exfoliant. It was fun. Um, Revlon Sparkle is looking exactly the same. Orly Shine uh, looks pretty much the same as it did last time. The BYS Pearlized Eyeliner. I have used this quite a few times, but um, it's still working fine. I cannot tell you how much is in there. Um, yeah. It looks to be starting to dry up a little bit, so it might not be too much longer for this one. The Colour Theory Pencil in Charcoal is mm, its pretty much the same. I used it a little bit today underneath my eyeline. Just find that it's like quite dry and hard 
and a bit scratchy feeling under the eye. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. It might get decluttered at the end of the year. The LA Colors Bold Lash Mascara in Silk Chrome is done. And these two shadows, the Silver Grey, which is this one here, and the Brownish Grey, this is one here. They both kind of look the same, as they always have. Um, mainly because I haven't really been focusing on them. I've been focusing on a couple of other shadows, which I finished, so there you go. Um, that is it for the grey silver category. And finally, in the white category, we have the Blossom Kosher Coffee Bean Scrub. I was so looking forward to this. I thought this would be really, really good, and it's not. And I was so sad. Um, it smells like tyres, and it's supposed to smell like coffee. It doesn't really. I didn't find that it scrubbed very well, and it has olive oil and shea butter in it and they basically just left a film on my skin after I'd cleansed my face which I found um, uncomfortable and I felt the need to then cleanse my face again so yeah although I like the the cleanser I'd use from them I don't like this scrub uh, Essie good to go it looks exactly the same as it has for months now. Um, I used one of the Oligodermy uh, samples. I have another one to go, which I probably will get onto soon. Um, I have, I think, used this uh, La Cura QV Royale um, face mousse thing like once. Um, I really need to use it during the day just to get it done, because there's not really that much in there. There's probably like three days in there. Um, I used the Madara Wrinkle Smoothing Eye Cream. Didn't really notice anything with it at all. Um, the... There's one missing, but it might have been in one of the other categories. But it was something I finished, so it doesn't really matter. The L'Oreal Boho Look looks exactly the same. That would be because I haven't used it. <laughs> the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Too Cool I have decluttered. I just I wasn't reaching for it. It's drying out. Um, yeah, there's just there's no point forcing myself to use something that I really was not enjoying, considering how many color tattoos I have, and I'm not really sure I like them. And last but not least is the CoverGirl Exact Lights Eye Lights in Black Sapphire. Um, I usually use this on the bottom lash line and it's fine. I quite like it. Um, and it's going strong, but again, it will be decluttered at the end of the year. So that is it for my 100 Colourful Empties update. I'm doing a lot better than I was. I'm not going to get through 100 things by the end of the year, but that's fine. It's it is what it is. So if you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Click the little bell if you want to get notifications of when I upload. Leave me a thumbs up if you like Project Panda videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.